Why am I so excited about a group of nondescript cichlid fry like this? Well, let me describe them and you'll have a better idea. You see, to get these fish, Chromatotilapia nana, I had to go to Central Africa, to Gabon, near the town of Chibanga. The fish are not yet in the hobby. There are other Chromatotilapia species that have a toehold, although they're more popular in Europe than they are in North America. But this one, even though it's the, not the most colorful fish you're ever going to see, is one of the most interesting. If you look here, you're probably wondering what is going on. Is she eating her young? Well, what's actually happening here is she's picking them up. She's seen me with the camera, I've spooked her a bit, and she's going to protect them by taking them into her body, into her mouth. Now, it's not just her. One of the things I really like about these fish is that the males are also equal partners. They get very involved in the brood care, they pick up the babies, they take them to good food, they pick them up in their mouths and roll them around to clean any sand off them or any debris that's stuck to them. The level of brood care is really, really complex. A lot of people have kept East African cichlids. The fish from Lake Malawi are the most popular ones, the Mbuna. They have very primitive mouth brooding techniques. What they do works, but what these fish do is a lot more fun to watch. An Mbuna from East Africa will brood the eggs, brood the larvae, but as soon as they're capable of swimming on their own, they're dumped out and they're on the, their own for the rest of their lives. Chromatotilapia are deeply involved in raising their young and keep them around for a few weeks until they're really, really able to take care of themselves. Chromatotilapia nana comes from one river. It's the smallest member of the genus. It qualifies as a dwarf cichlid. It doesn't take a whole lot of space in a tank. It comes from the slower moving water in a river like this. Uh, they're hard to catch because when you're trying to catch a fish that's running loose in a river, it just goes around you. Most of the time they're caught by netting them along the edges of the water after they've taken cover under the overhanging vegetation. And we're going to see how that works in just a moment. In a tank, they like cover as well. They're shy fish. They don't like to be in danger situations. Now here's a nearby river. The water is extremely clear and you can see those plants hanging over the edge. This is what you're going to find all through the region. and It's where you find a lot of the fish. Here you have Chromatotilapia kingsleyae, a larger relative of Chromatotilapia nana. This one's under a washing platform. They live in a habitat like this where there's a sand bottom, very, very few aquatic plants, almost none. Sorry, planted tank enthusiasts. It's not always natural. Um, they're fish that don't move around a lot from what I could see. I stood ankle deep in the water and watched Kingsley Eye for quite a long time. They cover small areas. They keep in sight of each other. They seem to be extremely social. And they're fish that really should have a place in the aquarium hobby. Not many fish are exported from Gabon, so we don't know a whole lot about them. And what we don't know about, we don't go looking for. So hopefully we can go looking for Chromatotilapia nana and enjoy them for years to come. Thank you.